Mode of a binary distribution is what we are going to handle in this lesson, but please don't forget subscribe to the channel. Now, a mode is the value of x that is most likely to occur or happen. It has the highest probability of happening. So mode is always something with the highest probability of happening. So that's the examples. How do we get the mode? In certain group of people, 80% have malaria. If two people are waiting to see the nurse, find find the most likely number of them to have malaria the probability of most likely number so here to get the mode we first calculate always the mean then you calculate the mean the values either below the mean the integer below the mean or the integer above the mean is one of them we are going to see how we choose from them now i'm giving it here a simple okay i'll give it after the whole thing here so here let us see so let's see so our probability of success is now the square had in malaria because it's what we are looking for. So our P here is 80 percent, which is 0 0.8. Means that the probability of failure is going to be 0 0.2. Now these are values that you get 1 minus 0 0.8, you get this. Uh -huh. So total, now our M is for this is our sample now. We are using 12 people. Find the number most likely to have malaria. Now for me, I start by catching the mean. So our mean always, you know it's given by N P, which will be 12 times our P, which is 0 0.8. And if I think it's 9.6. 9.6. So either the number is going to be above, above 9.6, so we have two choices here. So one, the one below 9. 6, which is 9, and then the one which is above 9.6, which is 10. So, one of these ones is going to be the most likely number. Now, how do we change test? You come and test using the probability. So, that's when we test when probability is this and when probability is this. So, when x is equal to 9, what is our probability? So, our probability when x is equal to 9 is going to be n, which is our n is 12. Combination 9 into 0 0.8 power 9, then 0 0.2 power 3. And here our answer, when we paste this on the calculator, the answer you are getting is 0 0.2 power 362 for the small places. Now let's come and adjust the probability. When x is equal to 10, so our probability when x is 10 is going to be 12 combination 10, 0 0.8 power 10, then 0 0.2 power 20. Add this and this, we should get 10 as soon as that. Now, here the answer I get is 0.2835. I'm giving this to all the small places. Now, from there, when you, when you look at these two, so this one is giving me the highest probability. This one is giving me the highest probability. It means that they are now the what's the most likely number of them to have malaria. So the most likely number of them to have malaria is when x is equal to 10. So 10 of them are most likely to have malaria. So okay, therefore, 10 of them are most likely to have malaria. Now, what about why? Because the 10 is what is giving us the highest probability. What about their probability? Of course, we have seen that their probability and their probability and the probability probability is 0 0.2835. So that's how it answers that question. As simple as that. Now, you note know this and note the next question here. A student has 10 multiple choice questions answer. There are four alternative answers to choose from. If, from each question, of course, if a student answers the question randomly, find the probability that there is no correct answer. 
So here, upper BP, the cost of success is when you get it right. So if you have four in those objective questions, if you have four objective questions, only one which is correct. So it means that now the probability of getting it correct is going to be one in four. In those alternatives, there's going to be one right question in the in I mean one right answer in the four. So it means meaning that the probability of failure is going for it to be three over four. As simple as that. So what is this zero point two five? Then these ones are going to be zero point seven five. Now if one is correct, it means that the remaining is going to be wrong. That's why you say that here you have failed the probability of success is 3 over 4. Now from there, no correct answer. So the correct answer is 0. So now we one, no correct answer. So our correct answer, if it's 0, now we use our formula. So we say our formula is going to be, now, hope you know the formula I'm talking about. The formula I'm talking about is the probability of x is equal to x, the same as n combination x p power x q n minus x. This is what I'm talking about. So from there, I'm going to have my n, my n here. The n is having 10 questions. It's choosing from 10 questions. So they are permitted that they are, there is no correct answer from the question there from the 10. So I have 10 combination, 0, then 0 0.25 combination, 0, then 0 0.75 combination, our 10. And here, the value you get is uh, I'm getting 0 0.0563. Then we're going to get to the most likely number of correct numbers. So here, now correct numbers means that we have to get the mean. So our expectation is n e, which will be n, which is 10 times now our p is 0 0.25. So this is going to be 2.5. So it's either, now we have either below 2.5, we have a 2, or above 2.5, the integers. So these are the ones we are picking from now, from this question here. Either or this. Now, it means that we test using the probability. So now, we say probability when our x is 2 is going to be now 10 combination 2, 0 0.2 power 2, then 0 0.75 power 8 and the answer here is 0 0.282816 I'm giving it to the small I mean for the small places okay what about when p is equal to this is 3 we shall be having 10 combination 3, 0 0.25 power 3, then 0 0.75 power 7. And the answer we shall get here is 0 0.25, 0 0.25203 for the small places. Now we see they are asking the probability most likely number for that. This is the most likely number. So this and this, this one is the bigger probability. So meaning that therefore our high probability is 0 0.2816. And so the most likely questions, I mean the most likely question this man is going to get right are two. <laughs> so this man out of the ten is going to get two questions right using this information. Now, how we now see the one I want to tell you is when the probability of success is small, in most cases the number that is going to give you the amount 
is going to be the smaller one. So this one, the probability of success is very small compared to this. So it means that this two is most likely to give you the mode. So the, our model, our mode here is going to be two. Now, you look at this, where the probability of success was too big, the one which is big also was then, it was our own. <laughs> I wish you will. You will learn slowly. 